What's going on tubers? TMT Racing here. Today I'm at the junkyard looking for some parts for my pickup truck. Well, I found this nice red step stud Chevy Silverado. And look at that. That's what I need. I need that. So I'm going to rip this thing apart and see if I can get it out of there without breaking it. Yeah, check it out. Alright, well that's the best thing about a junkyard tuber is you don't have to be gentle. So. Alright tubers, we'll check it out. I think I figured it out. I don't have to remove this panel. Um, all I gotta do is drill that rivet out right there. And once you drill the rivet out and disconnect the rod from the pivot point there and the pivot point down there, you drill the rivet out and the whole thing slides forward. Come right on out. Look at that. So no more redneck door handle, guys. I'm gonna go home and put this thing in and we'll see how that goes yeah so yeah if you need some parts for your car or truck uh, I suggest going to the junkyard there's tons of uh, these Chevy Silverados Jeeps Suburbans Fords you name it they got it and uh, most of them have been torn apart like that there but uh sometimes you'll find one like I just found it just came in and it'll still have all those parts Couple V Techs. Looks like a V8. I don't know what it, brand that is. Transfer case. Got all kind of motors. And that's the old cars over there. Alright, tubers, check it out. I'm home. I got my part from the junkyard. I'm going to put it in. It's a uh, gray, but my handle is blue. It doesn't really matter. It's better than a redneck door handle here, which worked. So now we're going to take this thing apart. You stick a screwdriver right in the top in between the trim and you pry up. And do the same thing right below it on the bottom. And then once on the side. It comes right off. So it's got three little tabs on it. And one right at the top, bottom, middle. And a little one over here, but that one will pop right out once you get it going. Alright, for the switches, um, just go right in here with your flathead, pop up, and they come right out. I found it easier, instead of taking the connections off, just to pop the whole switch assembly off, you stick your flathead in there. comes right out and the speaker is pretty cool it just twists and comes right out so we want to kind of drop those down in the door all right so now you just take your flathead and you stick it right in the side the little things will start popping out it sounds like you're breaking your door apart when you're doing this but you're really not it just pops right out so then, you want to lift it straight up, pull it out a little bit, and give it a little wiggle. When I was in the junkyard, I found it was a lot easier to do this with the window down. That way you have more play at the top. So, first thing I'm going to do is roll the window down. So I'm going to unhook my redneck door handle here, pull it back through. Alright, next step is to drill out that rivet. There you go, boys. Now we're going to put the new one in. Slide this doodad into place. Clip it in. Put your top rod in. It's locked into place. Alright, now I'm going to have to get a bolt and nut to go into here so this thing doesn't slide back and forth. All right, so I found a little nut and bolt. Oh 
Oh yeah, boys. Now I'll just button her back together and she's done. Alright, well I'm done. Tubers took about 10 minutes. 10 bucks for the handle at the junkyard this morning. When I was there, I really figured out how this door works. Um, with the window down, you have plenty of room to work with in there. So, yeah, check out the rest of my videos and uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and you have a nice day.